Okay, let's get this one quick. It is official time, and I do need to do this before Saturday. For completely unrelated reasons. Honest. So, we're going to review... Something that looks like a weird cardboard box made Viper from the original Battlestar Galactica film. Uh, sorry, series. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. I don't know why, it just does. You know, like the, the triangle thing that I think they showed in like the first episode of the new series of Battlestar Galactica and then kind of destroyed and I was very upset about. But for some reason, that's what this reminds me of. Like the, the cockpit back there and the long nose. and That's what it reminds me of. And you're thinking, all right, well, what's this? Well, you're probably not thinking that because everyone knows what this is. They've seen it and they're wondering why it exists. This weird-looking square spaceship is Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, sorry, Generations War for Cybertron Siege Voyager Soundwave. Yeah, because that... that Screams Soundwave to me as well, but you know, let's just go with it, okay? Let's let's just go with it for now, okay? Emphasis on for now. Um, <laughs> now, one thing I've got to say is this curling up slightly, or is it just me? It's curling up quite a lot, isn't it? But I can't seem to get it to go flat. It just, mm. and you've got these little landing skis that possibly have guns built into them, front and rear, which I suppose is a good thing. And there's a storage compartment there that looks all cracked and broken. There's a little button here to open it, and it opens all the way and drops something from inside, yeah. which is that, and I suppose we'll talk about that in a bit. You got some thrusters up here, but none down here, so I'm sure that flies well. And then you got some extra, what would you say, fuel pods? Should we go with fuel pods? Should we, should we be generous? Sorry, that one's wonky and it's bothering me. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll say fuel pods up here. Tiny little cockpit in there. Little nice flat bits, like you know, planes or. Gundams could launch off them, you know, that, that's quite neat. You come to the front, which for some reason today isn't holding together, which is annoying me. But there's... Uh, would they be lasers? Would they be missiles? I don't... There's some sort of weaponry built in here. Um, let your imagination wander. And yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's a nice colour there. For reasons. Um, where is that flat? Is that... I don't know. Is it supposed to kill up? Is it not supposed to kill? I don't. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because the thing is, it does actually tab in here, which kind of pulls this piece up. If you untab it, you can drop it down, but then it's not tabbed in. Clearly, I'm doing something wrong. But whatever. But that's fine. It's not sound wave though. But whatever. Let's. Um, this has three official modes, this being one of them. I think we'll do this, robot mode, third official mode, and then we'll have a play around and see if we can get a boombox out of it. What do you reckon? Sounds like a plan. And um, just before anyone goes further, this is like an extra gun that comes with it. Maybe they had to fill out the plastic quota. I don't know. And... Um, it kind of vaguely looks like G1 Megatron hand cannon if you squint a bit. I mean, it's grey. And for some reason, you can fold that over the top and maybe hold it that way or that way or... I I don't know. I, I generally don't give it to him, so it's not really an issue. Um, I just store it in here. You put it like that. Close up. It's fine. Shh. Okay, should we transform it? Right. First things last, so to speak. I'm going to try and untab this bit so I can show you what I mean about this leg section curling up. 
because that's the legs if you didn't know. All right, we're going to wriggle this loose. Come on. And that's it. There we go. All right. So if you wriggle that loose, don't pop back in. How dare you tab together too well. You get too loose, you can kind of get it sort of straight. And that looks better. But then you look at it from the front, and it's not tabbed in. And it doesn't look right. And it's kind of floppy. And this is no good. No good. No good. Okay. So first we're going to on these big grey double hinges in here. We're just going to bring these engine -y bits in. And they sort of tab onto there. Not amazingly well. But they kind of do. So we'll tab it onto there. And on that side. Okay. Now we're going to come underneath. And if it hasn't tried to do already. Come on. Right. We will separate this section all the way to here. Uh, there's a tab there. And there's a that tabs together and these actually have a peg there that goes into this and a peg here that sort of go into there they sort of grip into this they don't peg in properly so we'll untab those rotate them up and tab them into place up there i get the sensation that didn't go very well on camera but it's fine you split the bit underneath and on these side pieces just swung them up it's it's fine you're all right you're good i'm tired today so we'll fold these uh landing skid bits under that's right over might as well flip out the hands while we're here from inside here i might as well just bring these down rotate them and those are the arms we'll we're just getting them done it's fine. It's okay. There you go. Now we want to bring this section out. And there's a big grey double hinge piece in here. So we're going to bring it and wriggle it around. And these two tabs here, which did go into those slots there, they will go into uh, that slot and that slot, which is where the shoulders just about sort of gripped in before. So we'll bring them around and push them into there. Hooray for pushing things. And we got that so far. Yay! And we'll untab that. There's a big peg and a big hole. And on that side, big peg, big hole. Split. And then we can push this front little section here with the pseudo would-be guns. We just push that back. There's a tootsie, which goes on that little pin there, and folds out quite nicely. Fold the little gun bit back in, and close it. Rotate. And that is one really well done leg. I'll, I'll give them that, that's a good one. So we'll do that over here, fold that out, fold that in, close that up, fold it back in, rotate. And those are the legs. And so far, I'm on board. Okay, alright. This is going to be a bit funky. Let's try and get this. We need to get this top section, wriggle it loose. There's a big tab here. It goes into a slot there. And bring it all the way out. Now, it's attached to that little grey double hinge there. But it's also on this section here. And this section here is basically a box to hide the head in. Hello. So we'll just flip that out, basically using your nail in that groove. Flip that out. And now close that back up, and big tab will go into there. Doesn't grip particularly well, but it just goes in there. And then we want to get that double hinge to bring this down. While well, trying not to bring that with us. Okay, and these bits you can just fold over. You can leave them up if you really want, but fold them down. And that is bare bones basic sound wave in robot mode. And it's pretty good. If you want to just, you know, the piece de resistance. If we just pop this piece loose um, without bringing that out, because it will pop out slightly easier than I'd like. But it does mean this is ever so slightly hinged. Okay. And we'll just peg that into there. Nice little hole in the shoulder. And 
There he is. I realised I didn't do a vehicle mode size comparison, and I don't care enough to do it again, if I'm honest with you. I'm too tired. Uh, but yeah. I'm trying to work out if it's cartoon accurate or toy accurate, because there's like... I think it's cartoon, but these knees and stuff, they, they do really remind me of the old G1 toy, which I had a very broken version of, just so you know. And no, it's beautiful. Like, honestly, it's really nice. Like, even this little cockpit piece for the the spaceship mode, you don't really notice it, because it's, it's just a little bit of translucent, so what? It's really nice. I mean, these are a bit... a bit excessive, but... So what? One of the only little gripes I've got is this piece, you feel obliged to push flat against the body. And if you do that, it hits the stupid little peg sticking out the back of the shoulder cannon. Because that's one of the things, you put those little shooting effects, because apparently we don't have imaginations now. So we've got to have pew pew light coloured effects. I'm not a fan of those. I haven't got any, but I don't want them, because they look stupid. Uh... So, yeah, and that will try and push the gun around uh, the shoulder cannon. It's like, nah, nah, nah. So just try and have it sort of flush and possibly lean it back. Just uh, just give you the clearance. But he's he's nice. He's a very nice robot. I, I think so far the Siege modes, especially the Autobots, because they're, they're that close to the G1 vehicles, and then they kind of ruin it by going, Cybertronian. Um, but the robot modes are absolutely nailing it so kudos to these guys fantastic and just look at this light piping like there's no direct light on this oh it's raining that means it might be cool tonight that's nice see what i mean there's there's no it's not like i've got a light stuck behind his head he, his eyes are just like that beautiful and you can get this one off the back uh, quick mention, port, 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 port. Uh, shoulder, both hands. For the sort of weapony combinery guys, you've got a lot of places. But we've got this one. It's got that stupid little thing on the back here. But this one kind of serves a purpose, because if you push it, push it. Don't fight with me now. Say what? Oh, come on. There we go. If you push it in, this pops out. And if you pull it until it stops. G1 accurate gun. Look at that. That sort of turns into a battery, but it doesn't really peg it anywhere. But you can still give him his gun. Neat. I quite like that. Uh, if you really, really want to, you can also flip that out as an extra gun. It It's an option. And you might notice that this hand is actually moulded with his finger slightly out. Is that pulling a trigger? Is it? Is it? Not really. What it actually is, is a button pressing finger. They took a leaf from, uh, was it Wolf Cybertron? Fall of Cybertron? The Voyager. Which is up there and I can't be bothered getting it because it's probably going to be covered in dust. But yeah, I, you know what, it's a silly little touch, but it's a lovely little touch, and I do like that. So, congratulations, you got some brownie points for being nerdy. Uh, so, universal hinge, blah blah blah, everywhere, double hinge, swivel, hands wiggle a bit in and out because of the transformation. Uh, waist swivel, heads on a ball joint, lovely. Uh, legs. A little bit of front skirt, just for the uh, tape accurate things. Forward, side, blah, blah, blah. Swivel. Nice bend. And ankle goes about that. No real forward and back. Well, so what? Look, I'm covering articulation. Look how good I am. It's almost like I do this properly. I don't. So now we get the third official mode. This video is dragging on a bit. I thought it was going to be a quick one, but I need to get it done. For reasons before Saturday. No particular reasons. Uh, so I'm going to wriggle that off, make sure that doesn't fall off. And we're going to go for his really iconic 
lamp post mode. Fine. So we're going to fold the hands in. We're going to pull this all out, all the gubbins out. Like you're going back to spaceship mode, just fold the head in and get it on top. Uh, just hint, sometimes putting this on top will catch that button. So uh, just be careful. Pull it on top. And then what you're supposed to do, I think you fold this over the top. I'm not sure. I think you can lean down if you want, you know, uh, these bits. If we rotate this round and fold these around, like someone's putting his arms behind his back, yeah, they're, they're twisting his arm. There's where are we? Little tab there. Uh, sorry, little slot there. Tiny little slot. Goes onto a little nub in there. Tiny little nub in. Uh, and this is why it's got the double hinges, just so you can try and line this up from completely the wrong angle. There we go. And try and get that on there. Don't fight with me. It will not go well for me. Uh, right, there we go. And then you're supposed to rotate the legs around at the swivel. Flatten the feet off. Then turn the waist round and just sort of lean it like that, I think. Or are you supposed to leave the legs around? I can't remember, but possibly leave the legs around because that didn't seem to be going right. So sort of lean it a bit like that. And then you can do other stuff, like you can put these on the legs if you want. You can put them on the arms or put them on top or whatever. And you can put that up or put these up. You just... This is just... Hey, look, you can do it. But the fact they've actually put little notches, because those little notches in the arm aren't for any other mode. And I'm not convinced these little not, uh, lumps sticking out are for any other mode either. So it's literally been done just so you can do this. Even though I'm pretty certain on the original in the cartoon, Hatch had his arms out. But <laughs> silly me, right? Whatever. Okay, so now we've done that, I think it's time to have the very slavish attempt at the uh, jukebox mode and I've seen people do this and I've seen other stuff and yeah it's not good so we're going to sort of rotate the arms as far back as they'll go like this and we'll rotate the arms back as far as they'll go like this and we will fold away the legs back into the little gunny pod whatever modes gunny pod whatever modes Hooray. swivel swivel and just because the shoulders are there you can't actually put it up sideways so you've got to kind of swivel it forward a bit and shove it to about there uh, I think you leave the arms straight actually that's right leave the arms straight what am I doing and so you get that that's a boom box right it's definitely not uh, uh, yeah yeah. It doesn't quite work, does it? Sadly. Uh, this is my only Decepticon from the Siege Line so far. I had a big uh, debate with Blucius about it. I, d I, d I just don't want all the Seekers. I might take like a, a Thundercracker or a Skywarp, but I don't want Star uh, Starscream. I don't want the Rainmakers. I don't... Yeah, I'd take a dirge or a ramjet. A dirge would be nice, but I don't I don't want the Tetra Jets. They don't look good. They look um They look very shell formery from what I've seen. Very shell formery. Apparently it's not as bad as it looks, but I don't I don't like the look of it. Honestly, I I'm not i I'm not a fan. So at the minute, because uh, other things are way expensive and refractor looks awful, this is my only Decepticon. And he's massively outnumbered now. Um, I tell you what, what we'll do is we'll fully arm him. We'll put this in the hand and we'll give him his little uh, Megatron gun as well. I do fully intend to get his uh, cassettes though. 
fully intend to do that because they look awesome. But it kind of looks Megatronish, doesn't it? Just a little bit, a little bit. If you want to paint that top bit black, it'd probably be a lot closer. But yeah. I like him. I do. He's uh, he's quite nice. Uh, size comparison. Age of Extinction Balby. And one thing I have noticed with these guys, they seem a lot smaller than they are. Because they don't seem to have much in the way of kibble. I know there's this stuff on the back, but it's not that obtrusive. So these figures seem small. But they're not. It's really weird. I've just got this thing in my head. Oh, all the figures are small. And then they're not. Weird. But yeah, he, he's nice, he's fine, he's fun, he's kind of weird. Um, the battle damage thing doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. I'm I'm just kind of tuning it out. But yeah, he's actually quite a nice figure. Genuinely is. <sighs> now I've got this done, ready for Saturday. Because people are going to turn around and go, Oh, well, you know the boombox mode and stuff? Yeah, there's ways of fixing that. Are there? Please tell me in the comments how you can possibly fix that, because I, I, I have no idea. And I'm not waiting till Saturday. Um, yeah, yeah, you pl feel free. Comment. Comment. Like, subscribe, because I'm a professional. I, I'm not a professional, but feel free to, to subscribe. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go because I'm rambling and I want to go to bed. Well, it's cold. Nice. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in my spaceship mode. Bye! Ooh, I forgot to mention. Spaceship mode's stupid, but at least he's got some sort of mode where he can actually travel. You know, like Titan's Return, Galvatron. People didn't like that. I didn't mind it. So, at least he's got a travelling mode now. Bye!